You might have noticed balloons floating over Westport's Green Farms Road today, a planned test for a proposed cell tower site in that location. They float at 150 and 110 feet in the air, and the test gives the company behind the proposal, North Atlantic Towers, reference points when it comes to their cell tower evaluation. These things should not go in any residential neighborhood. Meanwhile, back on the ground, a group of Westport residents are protesting that proposal. There are other places where they can go. They don't have to be right next to your house. So we're out here protesting that 13 story, it looks like, tower, which may have health uh, problems for young children and adults and also is an eyesore. Westport Town regulations currently outlaw cell towers in residential zones, but that's still not enough to put an end to this project. A state committee formed in 1996 called the Siding Council holds the ultimate power, deciding where cell towers are located all throughout the state with the ability to override all local zoning laws. Connecticut is the only state to have such a committee. The, the one thing that is very scary about them is they have been empowered to override local zoning ordinances. Government agencies like the International Agency for Research on Cancer, the National Toxology Program, and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency do not classify cell phone towers as potential health hazards. But some studies suggest the opposite. One study published last year in Brazil says it established a direct link between cancer deaths in Brazil's third largest city with a cell phone network. But while facts may differ on public health impacts, state officials still coming out to support today's rally. They remind the group they need to present alternate locations since cell phones are far too common of a household device. That we need to empower our local uh, leaders to have a, a, a template to deal with this. So far, almost 200 residents have signed a petition in opposition to this tower, but it is important to remember. An official proposal has yet to be submitted by North Atlantic Towers. And this Westport group is hoping this visual opposition will make the company think twice. In Westport, I'm Diana Blass for It's Relevant News.